Here are some of the advanced comments received about George Watts' The Grammar of Self. From Dr. Ahmed El Bishlawi. In its themes and concerns, The Grammar of Self is a broad ranging work. It is a consciously and meticulously constructed edifice of histories, wars, memories, desires, texts, impulses, times and places, all interwoven by the poet's experience and contextualization of them. But at the heart of this complex edifice lies the true secret of its attraction, the abundance of subtle monadic moments where a freezing erotic gaze appears that seems to disrupt the reader's gaze as a desiring subject, where sexuality seems to problematize itself and desire sabotages its own mechanisms. For close reading readers of this collection, these moments will stay long after they put the book down. From Akin J.J., author of Smoked Pearl, Poems of Hong Kong and Beyond, Proverbs 2010. Voluminous in scope, terrifying in its prescience, yet oddly compassionate in its multivaried gaze, George Watts' The Grammar of Self spans eras, continents, and histories in search of coherence, identity, and ultimately the recreation of worlds past and present. From Dr. J.P. Lindstroth, winner of the Provost Prize 20... What, what date was that? 2020, I think, for his poetry collection... Sorry, 2019, for his poetry collection, Epical Reckonings. This is an amazing collection of poetry. I state this for two reasons. It is memorable and it resonates. In my view, says Dr. Lindstroth, good poetry is memorable because it has a lasting quality in the mind and one wants to read it again and again. Additionally, good poetry also resonates because it suggests so many images and meanings, thereby reverberating with a timeless quality. George Watts' poetry book, The Grammar of Self, is such a volume with its various subjects from history to self, both memorable and resonating. <laughs>